Mountain Radio Network. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Live from the InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. I pinch myself every day and how real the New World Order is and how incredibly evil it is. Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. We're here live back weeknight, 7 o'clock Central, with the InfoWars Nightly News. That's condensed, professional, and focused with myself and the rest of the great team. Speaking of the Nightly News, we're going to play a special report that John Bowne put together uh, yesterday that aired on the Nightly News coming up at 40 after. And I'm going to dovetail it with some of the surrounding corollary news reports. Dealing with the pedophile rings and the people getting killed trying to expose it. But let's go quickly to your phone calls right now. As U.S. troops began massing in areas all around the Russian-controlled areas of eastern Ukraine. They're massing in Poland. In Ukraine, they're using mercenaries, CIA, that's now confirmed. They're having firefights. Uh, the Western Ukrainians are approaching Russian-held areas and opening fire on them on a daily basis. And the Russians' uh, foreign ministers come out and said that we played it last hour. Video's up on Infowars.com. He said in English, if attacks continue on Russian-held areas, Russia will respond militarily, as we did in South Ossetia. And that will be a full invasion. 
and then rolling ICBMs on mobile launchers in. And he said, we'll respond as we did in South Ossetia. They responded there by rolling the missiles in and saying, we are targeting NATO bases with thermal nuclear weapons. So it's, it's, it's a horrible situation. And I, I just don't want to see it happen. It's like getting two tough guys, you know, out in the street ready to kill each other. What's the point? And there's a little little gremlin, the globalist, playing both sides off against each other. How stupid do we have to be? How many times do we have to play into this? Do we have to have a civil war with the feds geared up and dressed up like the army, ready for war with us? So the globalists can sit back and watch us tear the country apart? Only way they're going to have this socialist conversion to the country. Do we have to do this? Let's go to your phone calls. Woody in Washington, retired police uh, and military family, your take on this. Uh, hi, hi, Alex. Uh, well, I have three different uh, angles that I'm looking at this. The, the first angle is historical. Uh, fact, we've had two world wars. Uh, in each war, the, the, the seeds were laid before the wars broke out. And I particularly have to say, I have to say, you're, uh, uh, you're having Joe Scouse in, uh, on your show several times and listening to what he talked about on how the World War III scenario would unfold uh, is pretty accurate. And um, I think if you take a historical perspective, now I'm old enough to remember what the Cuban Missile Crisis was like. I was seven years old, and I remember everybody talking about we're all going to die, the Russians are going to bomb us, and, and uh, nuclear bombs are going to destroy cities and everything. And imagine if we had who we have now president instead of John F. Kennedy. What do you think would have happened? Well, he blocked the Joint Chiefs that's been declassified, fired LL Eminencer, called the Russians and said, look, there's about to be a military coup. If you don't back off, they're going to nuke you. We'll pull our secret nukes out of Turkey. Back off now. And the Russians didn't want nuclear war, as evil as their government was. They backed off. The CIA called it treason and blew Kennedy's head off. That pretty well sums it up. So we need to be mustering the same type of willpower that we did to stop the Syria situation from going to a shooting war we need to be doing that right now we all need to be pulling our uh our phones uh, out of our back pockets and calling up our senators and our congressmen and demanding that uh, we not be uh, escalating the situation and we get out of the ukraine like ron paul said i agree and the russians need to show major restraint as well overall they've been showing it uh, and now the cia is launching these paramilitary attacks on um Russian controlled police stations and things, just like they did in South Ossetia. And Lavrov came out today and said, basically, if that continues, we're going to attack you. So it, it's just total insanity. Uh, and I appreciate your call. Great points. Diane in Texas, you're on the air, a reporter, whistleblower on military and Ukraine, you say. Go ahead, Diane. Hi, Alex. Um, what I have to report on is I've been trying to get a hold of you. Um, since I literally had to flee out of Las Vegas for my life um, because I was all set to um, expose them on live uh, TV, the city council, and their, um, and their part in supplanting these unmarked military bases that are up there in Las Vegas. Well, well my, my issue is if somebody threatened me, I would just lock and load. I've been threatened thousands of times, no exaggeration, hundreds of real threats. Why did you leave Las Vegas when someone threatened you? They had six cars that were like federal. They had federal numbers on the front, no license plate. In the so back. I've been they threatened were, by the feds. Well, um, I, I was uh, disguised myself to see if they were uh, going to, the, if they had. Well, well I'll tell you what you should do. You, you should write this up in an email. I sent it to showtips at infowars.com with the proof of the bases or whatever you've got. And my reporters will look at it. If they think there's anything there, they will call you back. Uh, but, uh, you know, there's so many federal cars and everything nowadays or, you know, could be meter maids or something. I'm not saying you're paranoid, but, you know, you were about to expose all this stuff and you think people are coming after you. The wicked flee when none pursue and, and so many activists won't get involved because they're so scared to death. We outnumber the bad guys. Most feds are not evil people. They have corrupt units and things, but my God, they haven't taken me out yet. They, I don't think they're going to take you out for exposing corruption. So what we need is to have courage. Look, look, look talk about taking people out. I'm going to cover it right now. I appreciate your call, Diane. Now, I want to get into a report that John Bowne filed for the InfoWars Nightly News that airs weeknights, 
7 o'clock Central, 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 o'clock Pacific, uh, 6 o'clock Mountain or Montana time. I want to get into this and I want people to understand that before I air his three-minute report, I want to just give you a small smattering off the top of my head during a segment earlier, during a break, just to back up the rest of the story. In about two minutes, I told them to pull these articles. This is what I pulled in two minutes off the top of my head, just to add some other pieces here. So we're not talking about this in a vacuum. The number one thing that cements the globalists together when you get to the bottom line is pedophilia. I have seen no exaggeration in 19 years on air. Thousands of news articles out of the Sunday Times of London and Le Figaro of France and Der Spiegel, where there'll be huge riots in different European countries, sometimes um, two million people on the streets and in places like Denmark. I mean, you can look up the famous cases where they'll find little kids in dungeons, a bunch of them dead, some of them alive, run by the national judges and the national police chief with snuff films. And the Washington Times exposed the Finders case run by the CIA uh, in D.C. with satellite uplinks and all the snuff films and dead little kids. And the FBI came in and shut that down. First, the FBI exposed it because they caught a van full of kids being transported to Florida. The FBI raided it, and then the CIA came in with the FBI higher levels and shut it down. I mean, this was in the Washington Times. I interviewed the FBI agents involved, folks, that were in there. They said it was just unbelievable. And then they were under national security blocked from releasing. All they could talk about is what was first in the news. So, so when I see a story about pedophilia in Hollywood, Dealing with 10, 12, 14-year-old boys, that's bad, that's terrible, that's horrible on the casting couch. And that's why I won't allow my children to be involved in acting or show business. It's just a horribly nasty, evil culture on average. But when we start talking about all this breaking with... Brian Singer accuser names three more Hollywood insiders in new sex abuse case. You know, the former head of Disney, uh, the list goes on and on. We're about to go over all that in a moment and name names of who's alleged to be a pedophile and who's been admitted to be a pedophile. The thing is, these guys associate with known pedophiles. And you look at Jimmy Savelle and the rest of them and all the deaths surrounding him and the royal family. I'm going to cover some of that and then get to John Bowne's article. The point is, it's not just children. I remember in 2008, an article in the Sunday Times of London about Burgundy, France, and a national park castle. It was a Rothschild former castle where women escaped from a dungeon who looked like concentration camp victims, went to the local regional police office, they raided it, found all the dead women and other women in cages at the castle. People ought to look this up. I'm just telling you just a few of the hundreds of cases of literally thousands of articles, and then it got declared national security and shut down. I mean, when you see movies like Hostel and all this, that's what the globalists are really doing, folks. They've got trillions of dollars stolen. They were into evil and psychopathic and have no qualms about killing a million plus Iraqis just to get their oil and for weapon sales uh, or destroying Libya for Al Qaeda or destroying Syria and de destabilizing the whole country. They, it's not that they don't have qualms, they enjoy it. So you have to understand the entire system is filled with scum. And it runs from yes men and people that just serve authority who are stupid to mercenaries, control freaks, sickos, sadists, right up to the top, pedophiles, psychopaths, mass murderer types, until you reach the very top. And they are absolute worshipers of total death and destruction, nihilist, who want planetary extinction when you read their poetry and writings. I mean, the very top is just... Like the entity from the fifth element that just, you know, is working through uh, Zorg and, and just wants to come destroy the Earth. I mean, basically, that movie's telling you something. And 
All you Zorg wannabes need to understand what you're opening the gates to will destroy everything if it has its way.